Firstly sorry for bad English, I am not you.s but I hope you subscribe to my channel so I can earn some money for my poor family I know that you all are kind people and will help me. Did you click subscribe? Thanks. With the iPhone SIXS and its larger sibling the SIXS Plus, Apple made its first foray in the 4K video recording universe that Android handsets have been inhabiting for a while now. As usually happens when Apple considers a technology mature enough to offer it on its handsets, the 4K video shot with the new iPhones is well executed, with a great amount of detail, jolly colors, extremely rapid exposure adjustment, and zippy continuous autofocus. In short, you can't ask much more from the 4K video quality from the iPhone SIXS and SIXS Plus, as a recent impromptu test against a Nikon DSLR revealed. The new iPhones, however, start you off with 16GB of internal storage for the basic version, which can get filled with your 4K footage pretty quickly, a minute of it is about 400MB, plus there is the issue of downloading and previewing it on your monitor or TV that are still waiting for you to swap them with 4K editions. You get more defined footage, of course, even if you preview the 4K video shot with the new iPhones on an HD screen only, that's why we wanted to ask you if you are using the 4K video recording mode on your iPhone SIXS or SIXS Plus at all, and how often. It's not by accident, after all, that Apple tucked the 4K option in the settings app, rather than providing a way to switch to 4K recording directly in the camera interface. Well, it turns out that the overwhelming majority of our respondents don't shoot in 4K, or only rarely fire up that option, which can be expected given the storage footprint a 4K video can leave, especially if you have the most affordable 16GB models.